hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here the question is asking in the circuit shown in the figure an ideal ohmmeter is connected across a b with the switch s open all the connecting leads have negligible resistance the reading of the ohmmeter will be close to what so that's the question so let's see how we can answer this so to find this one what we can do first of all let's separate the a b this is the ohmmeter right so let's separate the ohmmeter from this uh, resistance. Ohmmeter is a separate thing, right? So let's draw this one like this. This is ohmmeter. So maybe we can just put a direct line, ohmmeter. And this is ohmmeter. And let's calculate the values. So here we have, so let's calculate the series first. Series, we directly add them. These three are in series. So that's going to be 10 plus 10 plus 10. That's going to give us 30 ohm, right? So that's going to be series. How about parallel? Parallel, we add them like this. 1 over RP parallel is equal to is equal to 1 over 60 plus 1 over 30 plus 1 over 20 so here we can take 60 as our common denominator and this is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 that's going to give us 6 over 60 that's same as 1 over 10 therefore rp is going to be equal to 10 ohm now we have found rs and rp now let's see how we can find the reading of ohmmeter so if you connect this one like this we have ohmmeter Ohm meter and then we have this 30 ohm and then we have this so this is actually 10 ohm 10 ohm this is 30 ohm right so now the new connection is going to look like this now all you have to do is do the parallel again the ohm meter is going to be r ohm so 1 over r ohm is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over 30. So here we can take 30 as our common denominator. And at the top we are going to have 3 plus 1. That's 4 over 30. Therefore r ohm is equal to 30 divided by 4. That's equal to 7.5 ohm. And that's going to be the answer. So the answer for this question is 7.50 ohm and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time